here. It's here. My first. <sighs> okay, so. Actually, I need to think about what I'm going to say, so let me come back in a second. Yeah, I'm totally gone blank. Let me come back. A quick update. I'm, I'm sitting all really weird, aren't I? Am I blurry? I'm going to do it again. It's there. I've, this is my fifth time trying to film this, and I'm just going to have to go with it. So it's probably a bit cringy. I'm probably like my, not my normal self. But you can obviously imagine that I have my own nose bag in here. So just a little um, to explain this. I wanted to film this video in here today. I've come down the stairs and apparently we're having our floor repainted today and I didn't know. So all the dining room chairs are gone. It's like, but you know, I'm just going to carry on with the plan of doing it here. I've got a paper cut because I ripped ripped the box open so like viciously that I've got a really bad cardboard cut. And the one time I've got the biggest reveal of my life, I've got no nail polish on. And for me, it's such a big deal because I always have my nails immaculate. And I thought, because I paint my nails most of the time myself, if I did that, I'd have to wait like an hour for it to fully dry. Imagine getting polish on my new Hermes bag. So I've just gone with it. So nothing in life is perfect. I'll even show you something else. Be perfect. This is the truth. Can you see it's black? See there? Yeah? Black. This is the life of YouTube and Instagram. Not everything is as it seems. You need to remember that when you're watching YouTube and Instagram. That's a prime example. You think it looks amazing, but really it's all black and burnt the other side. So that's just how it is. Two minutes in and I'm freaking out. Got new silver hair, looks like a colour transition. Got a new jumper on. I've got my new leather trousers on. Best leather trousers ever. They arrived this morning. I think you can tell I'm nervous. Let's just get on with it. So it's in this bag. This is the worst Hermes um, reveal ever. But um, it's quite a big deal, isn't it? It's not just like, oh, look at my handbag. So just to tell you why it's in this box, if you haven't already been following my Hermes um, journey, Please watch, maybe, maybe watch, not please watch, maybe watch my other video, which I'll leave in the link below, don't look at my nails, of how I couldn't get one. But I did mention in that video that I was trying to get one on a website that sold pre-loved, and I was only checking one website, which is why I didn't have any joy. I do work with Vestia Collective, and this was just meant to be. I was already doing a, a project with them and it was turning into like, you know, like ideas and we were all bouncing off each other and they knew the story of me wanting to get an Hermes bag and I hadn't found the, the one that I wanted. And I've been looking for over a year on Bestia Collective and even though they had amazing ones, I wasn't prepared to settle for anything less than what I wanted. In the middle of working with them on a project, my dream Hermes combination went on the website. And it, I wouldn't say it was a long process, but it's not the same as going to the store and buying it. I, I On Vestia Collective, you can make an offer. And I made an offer, imagine. It was only on there for like, I think a day. And I made an offer and had to wait for them Oh, I'm just all over the place. So basically this was, do you remember when I told you my Vestia Collective video? I'll link that below as well. That they have a lot of things in stock which aren't necessarily returns. So the seller was actually Vestia Collective, even though it would have been another seller that actually sold it to Vestia. This was an in stock, so I knew I could literally have it in two days, but I had to send an offer. It was so stressful so stressful and in the meantime something else happened and I don't want to tell you too much because like, there's no way I can do this all in one video but something else happened which we will all be explained in the next video all you need to know for now is that this was a very exciting stressful crazy Hermes journey and this is my first Hermes bag that, my dream Hermes bag that I'm going to show to you so it came about two days, 
took about two days to get to me, three days maybe, because it was already in stock. So let's just get into it. I'm so sorry that that was long and I am going to explain the full story. This arrived when I was at the hairdressers getting my silver hair and Paris was so excited because he, I got so worried about buying it over the internet. I just had like a panic and believe it or not, going for my Snapchat, I know that you all think Paris is a div, but he seriously isn't. He's so intelligent. When it comes to like all the real stuff in our life, he deals with everything. So he was really a part of me buying this online and he got so excited he opened this. And I was like, you've ruined my unboxing. Where's my excitement? So bless him, he wrapped it all back up for me and I haven't seen it yet. So it came in a box like this. It was all wrapped like this. This box was wrapped in white tissue paper, but I guess, you know, he didn't need to do all that again. I thought, I can't believe the luck, the timing. So it came in the original box. I can't believe I'm actually like showing you that I've got an Hermes bag. So it came in this, I haven't seen it yet. I will explain the whole story afterwards, but I just know that so many of you want to just see the bag and then whatever, so here's the box. Came in the original box, which was an absolute must for me. I honestly did not want it if it didn't come with the box. It was a really big deal for me. Actually, I'll use this as a little. Paper cuts are vicious, aren't they? This is really hurting me. So you can tell that this isn't brand new, but you can already see from how this is that it's really good condition. Stuff bag, another vital thing for me. Does anyone know what it is? I think you know what it is, don't you? So we've got, I mean, how amazing is this? I even have the rain protection and this has not even been opened. This has not even been opened. Wait for it. I have the original, um, the light is gonna, you're not gonna be able to see this, but I have the original receipt and this was bought from, this is so nice of the owner. She's obviously blocked out her um, address because they put that on there, but it is, it was born. <laughs> it was um, bought on the 18th of the 4th Oh my god, that's a couple of days before Paris' birthday. At half 5.39 from the um, Saint Honoré, sorry, six. I think that's the flagship store, isn't it, in Paris? And it was 6,000 euros. So if that helps. Okay, let me just open it because I just know you're dying, you're dying, I'm dying. So original dust bag. Oh, it's wrapped up again. So I know that Hermes don't do that when you buy one, so this is obviously how you get your bag from SBA. I don't know, I'm so nervous. I feel like, no, don't need to test it, Claire. Don't know it. Any guesses? I'll just show you. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm being embarrassing. Sorry, I've got a bit. This is my moment as well. So my dream Hermes bag has always been this exact bag. Black Epson 28 Palladium hardware. This is it. This, when I, every time I've been going to all these Hermes stores, this was what I was asking for. I wouldn't have mind a 32, but I know what I'm like. I know that it would be the same repeat of when I first got my Chanel bag, that once I got a black one, I know for sure that I would want a light one. And I would prefer the smaller one in black because I can take it out in the evening. And then I know I want a, a, um, a 32 in a lighter color, but stay tuned. So it's, it's absolutely pristine. We only sell items we love, and that's also in French as well. It's got the, the sign here of the names of who it was selected by, inspected by. Every origin has been verified. Match. So you have all, this is what comes with it. I love the Celia Epson. I just love how structured it is. 
So because this is from 2013, um, let's see. So the newer ones, I don't know when they started doing this, but the newer one that comes inside, it has the serial number inside now. Hmm. Oh, freaking out. So it's very new thing and I couldn't see it on here. So the serial number is actually here. But because it's black, it's very hard to tell. Okay, so that's there. Yeah, so the serial number is inside here, but now they're inside here. So inside, it's just one large space. And then it has a pocket here. I'm trying to be delicate with it. It has a zip here and then two pockets inside. And you can wear it all different ways, which obviously I'm going to show you on my blog. Let's see what's... I haven't really done this the best I could have, could I? But it's... In a way, I kind of wish that I had opened it first to calm down because I just think that's going to be really irritating for you that I'm being really scatty and a bit cringy. So, you know, maybe I'll bear that in mind next time. Let me know. Would you prefer me to unbox unbox it on camera or be more, be more excited or be more prepared? So here's the strap. I definitely would use the strap. It says Hermes Paris France here. I'm definitely going to keep this on, especially for a 28. It feels so, just so luxe. I actually can't believe it's, it's not sunk in yet. And something else I need to um, confess to you, I've had this for quite a while. I've had it for just under a week. And I've just been so busy, and I know we're busy in all our lives, but I've been so incredibly busy, and I wanted to take my time. And it has been hell to not tell you or like take it out and the amount of snapchats that I've done where this box has been in the side or the orange box was on the side and I've had to delete them and I nearly shared it but now it's going to be all out in the open. I'm going to take it upstairs actually to the mirror so you can see how it looks crossbody um, but that's it really. I don't see why this should be too long but this is my first ever Hermes bag and I am over the moon with it. I just feel like it was meant to be. So a quick background on why I chose to shop the Vestia. As I explained before, Vestia is, it's what, I mean it's pretty much the biggest online store for pre-loved and I've bought so much from there and I've been checking it for quite a while because when I say I wouldn't trust anyone else but Vestia to buy a pre-loved Hermes, I honestly mean that. I would never trust anybody else because it's too much money and I would rather just wait and wait and wait but it was getting to the point where I just thought I've got no other options and I'm not gonna compromise it has to be my absolute dream one I'll put that there so you can see it it has to be the dream Hermes bag and it has to be checked and verified by someone from Vestia because I know they're trained in Paris and it was the only place I felt comfortable with so when I saw this one, I thought it was slightly more than what it would be in the store, but I don't actually know the exact price of what it would be in the store anyway. So considering it's perfect condition with the box, with the raincoat, with the receipt, these are the kinds of things that you can get on Bestia, and I trust it completely. I'm not even going to take it to an external authenticator because I kind of... I, I'm pretty confident in myself, the amount of the Hermes bags that I've dealt with at Harrods and everything. I'm confident enough and I feel so happy and content with this bag. I mean, look how beautiful it is. It's just so me. I'm looking at the bag, not myself. And whatever was going to come first, Hermes store or Vestia, they were my only two options. And because it was in stock Vestia, I thought this can't be any more perfect. It was just the there. And as I said before, it was in Vestia stock, so I was gonna get it like two days time. I did put in an offer, and I put like a good thousand under what, it, what the original price was. And I'll leave the link below, because if I leave the link, you can see exactly how much I paid for it, because I can't remember the exact to the pound. It was a bit of a weird number, because I went in the negotiation room. So I'll leave the link below. You can see this exact bag on Vestier. And if you are looking for one, don't settle for, don't, I would rather get this 
three years old and going to Hermes and they offer me a red 28 Kelly with palladium, I wouldn't have got it. I would not have got a red or any other colour. So it depends what you want. I am someone that really wanted it from the store, but after two years and 18 months of seriously looking, I, if this was my second option and I couldn't have been happier. I don't think I would have got my absolute dream bag in black anytime soon. So for me, it was the perfect decision. Um, there was another one that I seriously contemplated and it was actually Paris that said, no, go for the black one because, you know, he's so much more chic than me. I'll always trust his taste. Um, but I'll leave that link below because I checked this morning and it's still there. So I'll leave that one below and then you can see that's the other one that I've got my eye on. Yeah, I'll leave that link below. And then there's also a few others that I saw. So I'm going to leave a list of links below of all the other bits that I saw. My This silver CDC cuff um, is actually pre-loved as well. My gold and black one wasn't. And I kind of went into liking palladium and silver. And that's why I ended up getting this, because I loved this so much. So that's a really good tip as well. If you want to maybe buy like a Kelly bracelet or a CDC, wear it and see if you really do like the gold or the silver, because it's such a big decision. So that is my new bag. Um, I fully understand how to get an Hermes bag now. Hermes bag now. So stay tuned for another video on how to get an Hermes bag because I'm pretty sure that I've got it all figured out now. So stay tuned for that video. Um, i trying to think of anything else. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Uh, I'm so sorry, but it's, I, I really can't quite believe it. And if you follow all my other videos, you'll know that this has been a long time coming. Um, it, so I guess I'll just give you a little like closer look at the bag. So as I said before, it's palladium hardware. It's got the four feet on the bottom. It's Kelly Celia. Celia means that it's just kind of more structured and um, it's not as washy. It's not really a good term, is it? As the, the Togo leather. Um, God, I'm like... I'm sorry, I need to pull myself together. So yeah, that was a close up of what it looks like. Um, I'm really embarrassed. And I'm doing that thing where I drag it out. So yeah, that's what it looks like. This is my bag. I guess you only just wanted to see what my bag was like. I don't know why I always drag these videos on. And a, a, a part of me is a bit like, okay, bring it back Claire. So this, this is my bag for the ninth time. This is my bag. Let's go and quickly take it to the full length mirror and we can see what it looks like. Okay, so I've come upstairs so that you can see it full length. Um, so this is how it looks holding it like this. I think that the 28 is the perfect size to have the strap on and I do often wear my bags crossbody like this. Oh, and I forgot to show you in my panic downstairs. Oh, God, get a grip, Claire. This is, look at this. This is not the best way to showcase an Hermes bag, is it? So as I said, this came with, with absolutely everything. I'm not even sure if I've done this right. Don't look at the nails. Um, that doesn't look right, does it? You're more than welcome to tell me that I've done that wrong and what I need to do. I'm new to the Hermes family, as you can see. So this is how it looks. This is, I'm five foot six, and this is how it looks on me. Because I, I, I know that it's very hard to decide what size you want when it's not like you can go in there and hold them all side by size. So I hope that this helps you work out what size is better for you. This is a 28 centimetre, I'm five foot six, not sure what that is in other measurements. And this is how it looks on me. And I also think a 32 would be really perfect on me as well. So I guess that's all you really need to know. That's how it looks standing up. Cut my head off. You're just going to have to get to, to realise with me that I'm very unorganised, I'm very scatty, and the harder I try to, things to go smoothly, they don't. This is the best I can do. This is not going to plan at all, but let's leave it there. This is my new Hermes bag, my first new Hermes bag. It's sinking in now that it's mine. 
And for something pre-loved, you can see how perfect it is. I just can't believe how lucky I've got. What a gem. I, I'm not being like I'm the best, but I think I've got the best ever item that's ever sold on Vestia Collective. Tell me if I'm wrong. It's perfect. It's that, there's not one scratch. You see these? Not one scratch. Now I'm gloating, but I'm just so proud of my find. I've never ever got something that's this much of a great find, and I will... I think we'll leave it there, but I'm just so happy for something that's, you know when you buy something pre-loved, well I feel like this anyway, I always feel that it's, there's something quite missing and that will be because I didn't get the raincoat or the padlock had a scratch on it, that's why I feel like this, but in this case I just think I couldn't have got any more lucky. The universe knew I needed it. So I'll leave it there, any questions? Let me know. Do you love it? Tell me if you love it and tell me if you think if it was the right decision and if it's what you thought I was going to get. But okay, tell me what you think. Oh my god, it's really sunk in that it's mine now. I don't want to use it. Okay. <laughs>